Hello, my beautiful little muglet. So, Rowana is raised. We can take a look at her stats real quick. Fully awakened, level 60. Has some gear, same gear we put on her yesterday. Just a hair over 20k HP, which I think is okay. 1500 defense, which I, I think is pretty high. Um, yeah, 76 effect resistance. That's pretty much it. Uh, we went with a big part of the free health set that we got from login. I would say you can go just the full health set and she'd be cool too. Although that comes with health percent boots and not speed boots. And I kind of prefer my dudes to be a little faster. So, what are we going to do first? I did do a couple arena battles yesterday. Uh, so I'm going to show them to you here. They're, they're, they're on screen, I guess, right now. I'm just kind of still looking at my lobby, so I'm not sure if I can follow along. This will have to be edited in post, but uh, uh, there was one team I fought against, yes, an SSB. And... I'm going to try and show that counter-attack now from the SSB. I think at one point we were unhealable, so, you know, the two that needed healing the most didn't get healed, which was, uh, yeah, I mean, that's probably Rona's main counter is un unhealable dudes, but, uh, the other two were fully healed. And then there was another arena battle where it was against, uh, two single-target counter-attackers, and kind of as I thought, she can't really help too much against those. It's just too much single-burst damage that... Her healing can't keep up, obviously, because her healing is also based on how many of your allies are getting hit. But yeah, I eventually decided to switch up my team. It's much more tanky. Uh, we got ML Kin, ML Zerato, Rowana, and ML Cecilia. There is also an SSB here, so we're gonna go into this battle and try her out. All these dudes are not super fast, so I assume we're not going to be first. Oh wait, here's an SSB counter. Look at that. Full healed. Amazing. I think our Zerato is gonna die because he has a uh, defense break on him, but I think everyone else will survive fine. Oh, even Zerato survived. And now, we, we, we just totally tanked. We totally tanked that Vildred. And now we can get revive and not worry about anything for like two turns. So yeah, that SSB counter actually did us more, more, more good than harm. And that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, her ult is bad, though, because it makes us unhealable. Thankfully, like, uh, since our team is so slow, they still had their immunity set immunity, uh, so it's only Rowana that can't get buffed now. Thank you for the counterattack. Let's heal right back up to complete full. Very good, thank you. So yeah, honestly, I'm not too sure there's much to say about Arena. Uh, like, for this team, for example, we have an ML Kin in there. With this team, it might be okay, since I was trying Judge Kisa before, and, you know, the ML Ravi hit, and then the ML Kin hit, and then, yeah, she was just dead after that, so that's to be expected. We can just try this one. I'm honestly more interested in, in her use case for PvE, though. I was trying a little bit of PvE yesterday with her. They have invincibility, which is annoying. But in case anything bad happens, we're going to go ahead and get revive right now. I'm, I don't think there's anyone that can remove it on this team. So they have increased effect resistance right now. I'm not sure if those uh, debuffs are going to land. Oh, they actually did, like all of them. So there was a uh, counter. <laughs> from ML Kin with the attack break, and our Zerato is perfectly fine. Here we go, AoE, fully healed. It's pretty cool, honestly. And I think another cool thing about Rowana is that you don't necessarily need her for her to, to benefit the game. Like, just her existence is going to make SSBs a lot less common, because enemy SSBs are basically just going to heal Rowana teams, you know, whenever you want them to. Sure, they can give you defense break, and then a follow-up, like, really strong AoE can still kill you, uh, that's true. But that has to be a pretty specific setup for that to really, you know, thanks for the healing, even though, well, we're not actually that hurt right now, but still. <laughs> yeah, and now two of our guys are, are unhealable, so... That's definitely a bit more unfortunate, but Zerato is not, so gonna go ahead and hit that and get that pretty much fully healed. So I guess if they have attack breaks, you know, it's more or less good. Uh, ooh, damn. Yeah, with this team, honestly, you might need a cleanser or maybe even Rowana with the uh, potion vial. You know, that might work too if you have a faster one. Yeah, we unfortunately didn't have revive anymore there, but we should be fine. Probably. That should do it. I would say a cleanser probably is better though because there can be a lot of debuffs going off. Or even someone who grants immunity as long as there's no one that can strip it easily on the enemy team. Vivian might be good perhaps. There's definitely already a lot less SSBs. Like look, there are only two teams with SSBs here. Whereas usually it'd be at minimum four and usually five. I think all the people with SSBs just haven't actually switched their defense team yet. I don't think we have either. So yeah, we still have SSB. I actually wouldn't know who to swap her out with. Like, we could, we could do Zerato probs. 
or I mean Imelkin's still good I think he's single target counter and when he has an attack down then yeah it's not that threatening actually I think Rowana would be pretty solid on defense too since her uh, passive doesn't really rely on your control it's just that if people know you have a Rwanda in there they're not going to take a bunch of counter attackers to fight you I don't know we're gonna leave it like that for now so here we have like a full counter attack team kind of similar to mine but they have no healers I think this might be too much damage honestly like Zerato can do a lot of damage with his counters as well and give us debuffs which we still don't have any cleanser here. Like maybe we could throw Lilius in there instead of uh, Moonlight Cecilia. Though I really do like Moonlight Cecilia's like starting barrier because it's a pretty slow team. But just for fun, let's try it. We have like basically one emergency cleanse from Lilius and she is the fastest unfortunately. So I guess we're just gonna actually just try and provoke that, uh, yeah, him. And then SSB goes right after and we're gonna probably all have unhealable. Oh, he's gonna give it back. It's just Lilius with unhealable and she's a tank, so maybe she'll be fine. Everyone's healed back up now. Gonna try and give them some debuffs. He's gonna counter. Ooh, that was a strong counter, but ooh, gonna counter again. I think the enemies are out to honestly healed us. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get revived because our Zorato is defense broken, so yeah. Bad things can happen. I'm not scared of anything right now since we have both immunity and revive so pre pretty much nothing bad can happen right now i mean that is a strong kin to be honest and i'm not sure if we can survive this count oh yeah we can because zerato also has lifesteal cool and we can get rid of all those defense breaks now lilius is probably a little too fast for this team because it's her turn first before any debuffs actually land but uh there that is she's pretty nice honestly she's pretty fun uh but i think that'll Pretty much do it for arena again i'm not really much of an arena head but yeah i can definitely see her potential there i did notice she kind of works for wyvern too the wyvern's second and third attack count as extra turns and so she heals on those uh if you already have like a super strong frontline healer that can survive just fine then it's basically you're just going to slow down your runs but if you need a healer anyway and you can like throw maybe a really tanky warrior up there maybe even luna could survive We'll try it just for fun. I honestly doubt Luna can survive. She's not really built to uh, withstand that. But hey, let's give it a try. And then, you know, you could have like, I don't know, SSB in there or something. But yeah, here we go. You can see after that first one, she does heal. It's not enough. So maybe if Luna had some form of lifesteal, it would be. She still takes about 4,000 damage per turn. So uh, yeah, if she had some form of lifesteal, like Sigurd Scythe or something, then maybe it would be fine. She also does get a barrier, so I mean, she's surviving okay. It's just, it still doesn't make much sense, you know? Yeah, well, if she can survive this one, maybe. You can see she's healing almost as much. Oh, and we're gonna get revive now. Well, that was good timing. Oh, wow. Her uh, ult heals a lot as well. Hey, well, well, there it is. It was honestly quite fast, too. It was pretty close, and I don't necessarily recommend that strategy, but it's something to know. I actually haven't tried any of the other hunts, but I'm pretty sure Golem also counterattacks or has this, like, weird extra attack when you hit him five times, so we're gonna try that, too. And his is AoE, so it should heal us quite nicely. Guess we're just gonna try it like this, actually. Got some damage debuffs. So, yeah, here we are. He should be having his counter pretty soon. Yep, right now. It does heal, as a matter of fact. Unfortunately, some of us are stunned. Well, I think it's just Lydica over there, but, but we did indeed get healed. So that should just do some damage. Yeah, bad damage. But hopefully his next counter attack will heal us back up. We'll see though. And here we go. So we're all pretty damaged right now. Full healed. That is actually insane. <laughs> Dude, look at that. That's crazy. It wasn't super fast. It wasn't slow either. Um, but it does seem very safe. I don't really have a team set up for Banshee or as a manic because I kind of solo with uh, Zerato. But with Banshee, I think her Vengeful Spirit will also proc Rowana's AoE heal if she attacks you while you're poisoned. That does a lot of damage, but I think that will probably get healed pretty well as well. And you know, she actually has the elemental advantage there. And yeah, what about Abyss? We're still kind of stuck on floor 98. We haven't really been trying it super often, but there are a lot of like bullcrap RNG mechanics in Abyss too. I think especially the Bellona floor, like after every one of these dudes attacks, they like dual attack with someone else. So I can imagine she'd be pretty damn good for that too. Oh yeah, we're on Leo. 
Yeah, I tried him a few times. His uh, bomb stuff, it's just... I don't know how to deal with that. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to hand it off to someone who can take the damage, so it's like hot potato, but it's just kind of weird and a little hard to manage. But yeah, from what I remember and just reading his skills, he doesn't have a lot of like extra turns, counter attacks or any of the such. So I don't think that's going to be a very good showcase either. Labyrinth bosses. I know this guy counter attacks, but it's single target. He may get some extra turns as well every now and then, which is AOE. But yeah, I mean, besides her passive being incredible in the right situation, she also, of course, does grant AOE revive on a four turn cooldown, which is pretty incredible and a barrier to the most vulnerable hero every basic. So while I still do think her passive is by far the most uh, impressive thing about her, she still does have a, a nice solid kit. She is definitely one of those full defensive healers. You know, she's not going to help your team to deal more damage. She's not going to really speed up your runs but she's gonna make them safer. And of course in PvP, she's gonna make it more likely that you survive all those counters. I still haven't fully decided on which artifact to give her. I think Shimadra's staff is doing pretty well though. She is healing a lot. I would consider giving her idols cheer if I had it. I still don't after all this time, never gotten a single idols cheer, but uh, it's cool, I guess. Not really, give me an idol's cheer. But yeah, I guess that's where we're gonna wrap it up for the little showcase here. I actually don't think there's too much else to say. I'm sure there are a lot of other scenarios she'd be good, but like, what's the point of going through each and every one of those? Her kit is quite special, and again, even if you don't happen to get her, or even go for her, it still benefits the meta of the game, in my opinion. Because you'll see a lot less SSBs from now on, and SSBs, everyone kind of hated seeing them everywhere, all the time. And I think that's cool in itself. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you don't do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.